Good morning, I'm Kirk Carraway and this is Our Town at Comic Coffee. This morning we're going to be talking with Sue Kitts, uh, who's with the Carson City Symphony, uh, about some of the programs they have going on. Right now we're going to take a short break for a word from our sponsor. What's the role of a health care system? Is it to make you better when you're sick? To mend you when you're injured? Are you ready to live healthier? Start today at Here's to Your Health.net, a free service of Carson Tahoe Regional Healthcare. And we're back and we're talking with Sue Kitts. How are you doing this morning, Sue? Great. How about you? <laughs> Just fine. Uh, so tell us a little bit about some of the programs. You've got a few different things going on with the Carson City Symphony. Right. I'm the education director for the Carson City Symphony, and I think I'll go in order of date wise. This Saturday, we're really excited. Um, our Strings in the Schools program is uh, hosting a contra dance workshop. Okay. Our coordinators are Chris and Darla Bear. Okay. And uh, they will hey. be <laughs> <laughs> and they will be teaching um, jigs, reels, and waltzes to students mm -hmm. of all ages. Uh, Steve Suey will be um, doing percussion. He's Mr. Spoons, so they're going to learn to play the spoons and some rhythm instruments. And then I'll be teaching the music. We'll be providing live music for a uh, free dance open to the public. All oh, of this wow. will be held at Empire School. Okay. The kids will be working all day and I'm really excited about this because you know rhythm is the foundation of music and how much better to learn rhythm to get people um, moving and dancing. <laughs> and we have all ages represented. My youngest mm -hmm. is first grade and I, I haven't asked my oldest. I think she's in her 70s. But yeah. we have all ages <laughs> represented which I love. I love the multi-generational uh -huh. concept. Right. And then um, starting the week of June 14th, I've got a Strings in the Summer program. It'll be at the Children's Museum of Northern Nevada. We've got classes Monday, Wednesday, and Thursday mornings from uh, 8.30 to 10. And we're offering fiddle, jazz, and an orchestra for the summer. Hmm. So we've got a lot of... Um, a lot of things planned. And what so ages is that for? It's all ages. Mm -hmm. um, the youngest class is Mondays, mm -hmm. 8.30 to 10, and you have to be able to play a D scale and read a few notes. Okay. And that'll focus on the younger students. We'll be uh, providing musical games. They'll learn a tune. Mm -hmm. And then my Wednesdays and Thursdays are for the more advanced students. And mm. um, we'll be exploring some jazz improvisation, more mm -hmm. advanced fiddle tunes with harmonies. And Thursday is our, our fiddle orchestra where we have cellists and guitars and all kinds of fun oh. things happening. All right. Now the country dance, just to back up a second. Yes. So, so is this open? This is open to everybody to come and dance, and, well, and the, or is it? Or is that, the dance the? is open to everyone. Okay. Right. This is. Uh, um, I'm also part of one of my other responsibilities in, uh, with the uh, education director role. Is I have an adult orchestra called the Not Quite Ready for Carnegie Hall Players. <laughs> <laughs> We're not, but we sure have a good time working our way towards there. <laughs> and uh, that's my adult beginner. So it's open to strings in the schools and the not quite ready people as far mm -hmm. as the classes, the right. classes in dance and rhythm. And mm -hmm. But at 3 o'clock is the open to the public free dance at Empire School. Okay. Come and learn how to dance. The kids will be teaching mm -hmm. you how to dance. They'll be up there playing the live music for you. And they're real excited about this. All right. So this will be a great thing for everybody, all ages, and get out and have some fun. Absolutely. All right. Absolutely. All right. And now for the strings in the school. Now this is the ages you said. What? started at? Uh, well, no, the Strings in the School program oh. is during the school year. Okay. We've had some real exciting developments, which I'll tell you about in a little bit. But that's a, a after school program. Uh, we have Mondays after school at Boardwick Bray, Wednesdays after school at Empire. Mm -hmm. And that's for students at the time enrolled in grades two through five. And that's mm. free beginning violin lessons. Mm. The only cost to students is instrument rental. Mm -hmm. And if they have a problem coming up with the finances for that, we've been so fortunate with outstanding community support. We have mm -hmm. had instruments donated. And mm -hmm. if there's anybody out there with a violin sitting in your closet and you would <laughs> like to have it used again, please let me know. And we also wrote a grant to the Mr. Holland's Opus Foundation a few years ago and received 24 fractional sizes violins. Mm. So money will not be an object in getting the students who really want to learn a string instrument, giving wow. them that opportunity. All right. That's a great great thing. So, all right, so what's left next on your list? Next on my list, <laughs> I'd like to talk a little bit and a little bit about the exciting developments at Carson Middle and Eagle okay. Valley. All right, well, I'll tell you what, we're going to take a real short break right now and we'll come right back after word from our sponsor. At Carson Tahoe, each of our 1,100 professionals brings something special to this region. My compassion. My experience. My skill. My knowledge. My commitment. My expertise. My dedication. But we all share one common goal. Your health. 
Carson Tahoe Regional Healthcare. Here's to your health. And welcome back. We're talking with Sue Kitts about all the uh, the great events going on with Carson City Symphony. Mm -hmm. uh, so you know, we we just when we just let off. Where, where did we stop? Well, you were talking we're about reviewing the, the contra dance workshop that's coming okay. this weekend. Saturdays at three o'clock, um, free public dance, and the following Sunday. Family Fun Dance, the Contra Dance, will be at the Children's Museum, and that's 6 o'clock. That's one of their regular events. I think they put it on about once hmm. a month, and it's really a lot of fun. A lot of my kids are excited about taking the skills they can learn on Saturday and coming on Sunday hmm. and then participating in that event. And then uh, the other real exciting um, part of our development here, Strength in the Schools was created about five years ago. Mm -hmm. uh, Orchestra was not offered as part of the school curriculum, and we felt very strongly, members of the Carson City Symphony, that um, that opportunity should be available for students. We have a great band program, great mm -hmm. choir program, but nothing for the kids that wanted to learn orchestral music. Mm -hmm. So uh, Ellie Bugley, the president and I of the symphony, we laugh about it now. We wrote a grant, and we thought, oh, it would be great if, oh, if just 20 people would come. Well, 80 kids signed up, <laughs> and it's pretty much been at that level wow. the whole five years. Mm -hmm. And our goal has always been to put strings in the school, mm -hmm. and uh, we partnered up with the um, Carson City School District with uh, outstanding support from Richard Stokes and both principals at Eagle Valley and Carson Middle and for the first time ever there will be orchestra offered as part of the regular school curriculum mm. at both Carson Middle and Eagle Valley. Wow. And mm. that was our goal and they saw that there were so many kids interested mm -hmm. in doing such an outstanding job mm -hmm. and um, what moves me so much about this whole experience is the outstanding community support. Mm -hmm. I mean we get grants from the Nevada Arts Council, mm -hmm. Sierra Philharmonic League, City of Carson City to help us put all this on. But the private donations, the parents that have been driving the kids after school, seeing to it that they practice. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I was working with kids one day a week. If you can imagine how good they'd be in math if they had math class one day a week. Yeah. So there's tremendous responsibility on the individual students mm. to um, practice on their own and they more than rose to the occasion. Wow. They're just phenomenal. Mm -hmm. And the, like I said, the community support has been mm -hmm. just outstanding. Yeah. Well, so and you're, you were saying that the, the kids can start in second grade. Second Great. And, the, and so by the time they hit that middle school, when they actually have an orchestra, they're ready they're, they're, they actually have some, some good background behind Absolutely. them. Absolutely. Now, the orchestras at the middle schools also open to brand new students who have never played right. violin before. Mm -hmm. But the uh, more experienced students will be mentoring, and we'll, we'll, we, there's all kinds of wonderful orchestra arrangements out. And some of them I arrange mm -hmm. myself for multi-levels. Yeah. And we're really excited about that. Now, know. what strings do you teach? Uh, in this violin part of this? is the beginning violin is the grades two okay. through five, but viola, okay. cello, and bass will be offered at the middle mm -hmm. schools. All right. Yeah. So I guess yeah, violin is a little bit easier to carry around. Yeah, and it's practical. <laughs> you can get some really tiny. Okay. The cellos small. only get so so small. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so that, yeah, those little violinists that are just really okay. Nice. So all right, and uh, well, let's see. Repeat again the the shows that you got coming up. The the. This weekend, uh, public is invited to the 3 o'clock Contra Dance, da the, the result of our workshop for that day. Uh -huh. uh, join us again at the Children's Museum of Northern Nevada at 6 o'clock Sunday for the family dance. Uh -huh. And then Strings in the Summer starts on June 14th. And once again in the fall, we're looking for a new crop of beginning violinists at Empire and Board with Bray. All right. Well, thanks a lot for thank coming on. Thank you very much. Thank you. And thank you for tuning in to Our Town at Comic Coffee. We'll catch you next time. Thank you. Folks all over Carson City are getting to know Jack, Carson City's public transit system that takes them to work, to home, to friends, and to shopping. Folks like Greg, who attends Western Nevada Community College. Greg knows Jack. Oh, I can go anywhere in town with it at any occasion, and it's very convenient, and I enjoy it very much. Get to know Jack. A dollar each way for adults, 50 cents for youth, seniors, and disabled. Call Jack at 841-RIDE.